young women can and do get breast cancer. About 11% of new cases in the United States occur before the age of 45. I specialize in cancer genetics and I meet with people who either have a personal history of cancer or a family history of cancer and may be at risk to develop cancer. Family history of breast cancer could include um, multiple generations of women and or men who have had breast cancer and those breast cancers tend to be at an earlier age, so before the age of 50. About 5 to 10 percent of breast cancer cases are hereditary and are due to inherited changes in genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2. We inherit half of our genes from our mom and half of our genes from our dad. So it, if there is a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation in the family, it could come from either or, or both sides of the family. Not every family that is BRCA1 or BRCA2 positive will have a strong family history of breast cancer. So if a woman has a concern about uh, a family history of breast cancer or, or their personal risk of breast cancer, the best thing to do would, would be to talk with family and, and learn about the family history, learn who in the family um, had breast cancer, at what age they had it, and, and gather that information and make an appointment to speak with a, a genetic counselor. In order to reduce the risk of either developing breast cancer or identifying it at an early stage, women have a, a number of different options available to them. If you are considering genetic counseling and testing and want to determine if it's right for you, you should talk to a health professional such as your obstetrician or gynecologist.